Hello friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you. So in this video, we are going to discuss about T helper cells and cytotoxic T cells. So before watching this video, I recommend you people to watch uh, my previous video on uh, you know humoral immunity as well as the cell mediated immunity because this video looks similar to that of uh, previous topic which I have explained you. So firstly, let us discuss about T helper cells. These T helper cells are also called as TH cells. They are shortly uh, said as TH cells, right? And now this TH cells acts as a center for whole human system. So how this T helper cells will perform its function? Let us see enough. And remember, these T helper cells are also called as CD4 plus cells, right? It is also called as CD4 plus cells, right? So now, now let us see how the function will be performed by these T helper cells, right? So we know that to perform the defense mechanism firstly the harmful antigens will enter into your body from the external environment. So this is your antigen which will enter from the external environment into your body. And once it reaches to your body by performing the first defense mechanism as well as the second defense mechanism uh, you know it enters into the body. And once it enters into the body then your antigen presenting cells will represent those antigens on its surface with the help of MHC class 2 molecules. What are MSC class 2 molecules? Major histocompatibility complex, uh, you know, class 2 molecules, right? So there are two classes of molecules, MSC class 1 molecule, MHC class 2 molecules. And here we are discussing about the T helper cells. So here on this antigen presenting cell, MHC class 2 molecules will be present, right? And this MSC class 2 molecule will represent or else will, uh, you know, it will place that antigen on its surface. Right, so this blue color one is nothing but the antigen where this MAC class 2 molecule will place that particular antigen on its surface. So, where is this MAC class 2 molecule is present? It is present on the surface of the antigen presenting cell, right? So, now here the T helper cell, which is also called a CD4 plus cell, will come and will get binded to this antigen presenting cell. I mean, it get binded to the MHC class 2 molecule with the help of T cell receptors, right? T cell receptors will be present on the surface of this TH cell right and it will get binded to the antigen presenting cell which consists of antigen which is represented by the MHC class 2 molecule right and now this antigen will be received by this T helper cell which is also called a CD4 plus and once this antigen has been received this T helper cell will get activated and it will get matured once it get activated it will become matured so now we are going to call this as a mature T helper cell you know or else it is also called as mature CD4 plus cell right and once it get matured or as once it receives antigen from the antigen presenting cell then it starts releasing interleukins or as which is also called as cytokines right so i am going to make another video on the cytokines just that you can easily understand what are the cytokines i mean what are these interleukins i mean these interleukins comes under the classification of the cytokines okay so this is your maturity helper cells right and now what happens this maturity helper cells will release these interleukins right and now this maturity helper cell will get binded to the b cell it will get binded to the b cell right it will get binded to the b cell so now this b cell consists of cd40 receptors i mean cd40 ligands which is also called as ligands and now it will get binded via this cd40 ligands such that the interaction will be done between this maturity helper cell as well as the b cell and once the interaction has been done, then this B cell starts releasing the antibodies. So this B cells will get differentiated, right? So it will get differentiated. Why? Because, because there are different type of antibodies which will be released. And that particular type of antibodies will be released by the particular B cell. For example, if you see here, if the antibody should be released in IgA antibodies form, then it should be released by the particular B cell. So there are three different kind of B cells which will be differentiated from that uh, B cell which has been combined or which has been interacted with the mature T helper cell. It will get differentiated and in those differentiated B cells, particular type of antibodies will be released. So here IgA antibodies will be released and from here IgM antibodies will be released and from here in this B cell, both IgE and IgG antibodies will be released. Right? In this way, the B cells will get differentiated after the interaction of that B cell with T helper cell. Right? So in this way, the antibodies will be released where these antibodies will get bind to the antigen and it kills that particular antigen and protects your body from that particular disease which is related to that particular antigen which has been entered into your body from the external environment. So this is one of the most important thing which you people have to remember. 
so here the t helper cells plays a major role in humoral and cell mediated immunity so this humoral and cell mediated immunity i already explained the link will be given in the description box so people who are interested you can watch the video and one of the most important sen sentence i wanted to say you people is that see once if the antigen presenting cell consists of mhc class 2 molecule then it can bind only to the cd4 plus cell Normally, there are two classes of MHC molecules. There are MHC class 1 molecule and MHC class 2 molecules. And in the same way, there are two types of T cells. They are CD4 plus cell, which is also called as T helper cell. And another type of T cell is cytotoxic T cells, right? Which is also called as CD8 plus cells. And now we are going to discuss about cytotoxic T cell, which is also called as CD8 plus cell. The cytotoxic T cell, which is also called as T cell, which is also called as killer T cells. And it is also called as CD8 plus cells, right? CD8 plus cells. So why it is called as killer T cells, I'm going to say enough, right? So actually these are called as cancer killing cells. And why it is also called as cancer killing cells, I'm going to say you in this mechanism. So these are also called as CD8 plus cells, remember, right? And here now the, again the same process will be begin where the antigen will enter into your body from the external environment and it will be placed on the antigen presenting cell. Remember this antigen presenting cell is also called as target cell. You know, it is called as infected cell in other words, right? And now this consists of MHC class 1 molecules. Previously, what I have said, it consists of MHC class 2 molecules, right? Because here the molecule which has been binded is T helper cell. But here the molecule which has been binding is T cytotoxic T cell, right? So one of the major important thing which people have to remember is that if there is a presence of MHC class 1 molecule, then it can bind only to the cytotoxic T cell or else T cell, right? But it cannot bind to the T helper cell. Whereas if there is a presence of MHC class 2 molecule, then it can bind to helper cells, T helper cells, right? So here there is a presence of MHC class 1 molecule, so it can bind to the cytotoxic T cell, which is also called as CD8 plus cell. With the help of T cell receptors, it will get binded over it again. And now what will happen? This antigen will be received by this particular cytotoxic T cell and it will get differentiated into two cells, where one of them will be memory cell you know cytotoxic memory cell and what is the major function of the cytotoxic memory cell it will remember if the re-entry of the same antigen will be done into your body from the external environment and once the re-entry of the antigen will be done then this memory cell will go and interact with that antigen and it will kill the antigen there itself so that is the power of the memory cell right and on the other hand it will also create effector cytotoxic T lymphocyte so what is the full form of this effector cytotoxic T lymphocyte, right? So this CD8 plus cell will get differentiated into two cells. One is memory cell, I mean cytotoxic memory cell, and another is effector cytotoxic T lymphocyte, right? So now what you are going to uh, see here, now once the antigen has been received, then this effector cytotoxic T lymphocytes will start generating perforins and granzymes in its body and starts releasing it out. Right, so these perforins and granzymes are nothing but the harmful chemicals. They are really very harmful chemicals which can has the capacity to kill the uh, tissues. Right, so these perforins and granzymes will get developed. These are the chemicals which will get developed in the cytoplasm of this effector cytotoxic T lymphocyte. Now, this effector cytotoxic T lymphocyte will get binded to the infected cell, which is also called as target cell. And on the uh, you know in technical terms, you can also call this as a you can also call it as a uh, you know antigen presenting cell. So this effector cytotoxic T lymphocyte will get binded to the infected cell which is also called as target cell and on the other hand you can also call it as an antigen presenting cell and now once it gets binded to the infected cell or as target cell then it starts forming the pores. So if you see here this is the next step where the pores will be formed on the target cell. So this is your target cell or antigen presenting cell which consists of antigen over there and it forms pores on its surface. Which one? the you know the granzymes as well as the perforins which has been released by this effector cytotoxic T lymphocyte these chemicals will start forming a pores forming pores on these infected cells and once the pores has been formed on these infected cells or as target cells then this all of these perforins and granzymes will enter into the cytoplasm of the target cell once it enters into the cytoplasm of the target cell these chemicals will kill the antigens which are present in the target cell so this blue color are nothing but the antigens. So this antigen presenting cell is nothing but the target cell, right? I think now you understood what is meant by this antigen presenting cell. So antigen presenting cell is nothing but the target cell or it is also called as infected cell which consists of antigens, right? And now this blue color are nothing but the antigens which are present in the cytoplasm of this target cell. And now once the pores has been formed, then the perforins and granzymes 
or these chemicals will start entering into that pores and will enter into the cytoplasm of the target cell. We know that the cytoplasm also consists of these uh, antigens so that the chemicals which has been entered into the cytoplasm of the target cell will kill those antigens which are present in the cytoplasm of the target cell right and once the target cells has been killed then the tissue then the whole target cell will also be killed or else the infected cell will also be killed and that process is called as apoptosis right so this is about cytotoxic t cells so if you like this video you can do like and subscribe and if you have any doubts regarding this video you can comment in the comment box thank you